praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah we all keeping well yes. praise the lord so today do you remember the gospel acclamation there was a word of god attached to the gospel acclamation do you remember yes what was that for god so loved the world gospel of saint john, john 3, chapter 3 16 verse 16 a beautiful powerful word of god we shall read it together for god so loved, so loved the, world the world that, that he, he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not perish but may have eternal life praise the lord praise the lord so god the father so loved the world that he gave up his son for you and for me in order that we may receive eternal life salvation and not even a single soul should be perish perished praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah can you raise your right hand and claim this word of god as you said this word of god the power of this word of god will start to rule and reign our lives together we shall say god, god so, so loved, loved the world that he gave his only son so that, that everyone who believes in him, him may, may not perish eternal. but may, may have eternal life praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah so the lord clearly says the heavenly father i have given you jesus christ for our salvation. salvation and that was the major point or the basic point in the gospel where the lord said the builders rejected the cornerstone and that has became the keystone Stone. praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah in other words if you and i we accept jesus christ as our lord and our savior you and i when we accept jesus christ as our lord and our savior that means when you make a covenant with the lord you are going to be my god and i am going to be your People. child this is the covenant when you make this covenant then salvation will become a reality in our lives very often this salvation is only as an idea in our mind we sometimes don't feel it sometimes we don't experience it so why that is happening if you want to know more about this there is a beautiful uh, word of god in the book of isaiah chapter 28 we shall read that isaiah chapter 28 words 16 therefore thus says the lord the lord god see i am laying in zion a foundation stone a tested stone a precious cornerstone a sure foundation one who trusts will not panic praise the lord Yes, the lord says now see i am laying in sign a foundation stone a tested stone it's already st- tested and a pre- precious cornerstone a sure foundation and the one who trusts will not panic panic praise the lord praise the lord do you know the background when jesus speaks about this cornerstone this foundation If you want to know the background and that is this the people of God the prophets the rulers the priests and the people of God now they have all committed sins and went away from the Lord and it is beyond our imagination how they have gone away from the Lord so I'm going to explain to you that the word which is above that is 15 Uh, Isaiah chapter 28 verse 15 and we shall, we shall read from 14 and 15 together Therefore hear the word of the Lord you scoffers 
who rule this people in Jerusalem because you have said we have made a covenant with death and with Sheol we have an agreement when the overwhelming scourge passes through it will not come to us for we have made lies our refuge and in falsehood we have taken shelter praise the lord now this is the point that the lord is telling to the people of israel now this is where you go wrong this is where you cannot experience salvation in your life this is where you don't have a god experience in your life therefore the lord says the first point because you have said we have made a covenant with death there is all the possibility that a person knowingly or unknowingly can make a covenant with death what is the meaning of having or making a covenant with death a covenant with death means you are making a covenant with the darkness the devil so you are making a covenant for example i remember once a man phoned me up and i knew this man and this man stopped drinking for over 2 or 3 years as far as i know he never drank he stopped drinking because he was very much addicted to it and then he decided this is not going to benefit me and my family therefore he decided that i am going i'm not going to drink anymore and for the last 3 years he did not drink and one evening when he was phoning me i could understand he was fully drunk and while he was making this phone call i asked him what happened then he told me father i am really sorry i've drunk a lot this evening and he said father i wanted to tell you today we had a little bit of argument in the family and my wife told me that she doesn't love me anymore father what is my life after all i have given my entire life for her and from day till evening from morning till evening i'm working very hard and i earn all the money and i give it to her and the entire family now she tells me she doesn't love me anymore and she doesn't have any feelings for me now think about he is going through so much of pain inside and now when things go wrong in our lives when people come and tell you something that is not feasible in your ears and when when there are things that is going wrong in your family or in your job place there is always a satan waiting there with a covenant with a treaty to sign and that is when you fall easily whether knowingly or unknowingly you fall into that treaty and then you sign it and then you go and drink and the devil succeeds this is what exactly what the lord is talking about you have made covenant with death you have made a covenant with death and it happens in so many areas of our lives the devil is always out there when god created adam and eve if the devil was there to tempt them when jesus christ came into this world and the devil was still there to tempt jesus christ mind you the devil is still there to tempt you and me and this is how it comes or another example i remember about another family this husband wife and the children they are living so happily but this wife had an addiction uh, sorry this husband had an addiction sometimes after everyone goes to sleep he goes to another room the office and then he used to watch inappropriate materials and when he attended our retreat he realized what he is doing there is going to affect the entire family and it is true when a sin is ruling within the family whether one person does it or not it affects the entire family 
and how can you expect holy children from that family how can you expect holiness in that family because all the evil things that is been displaced there within the family therefore after attending our retreat he decided i'm not going to do it anymore i'm committed to my wife i'm committed to my children therefore i'm not going to do it at all and then one day he goes to the job and during the job there is some kind of uh, accusations coming upon there is a, a kind of bullying there and now he is so upset he is so sad inside so when he comes home he is totally disturbed now the devil comes with the treaty to sign and that night he went into the same room opened the computer and watched those inappropriate materials you have already made a covenant with death whenever you and i whenever we make such treaties that is when salvation is far away from our lives salvation is far away still we believe in the lord still we go to church still we are happy to say praise the lord hallelujah these are all happening there but if you are a person made a treaty knowingly or unknowingly with devil that is not going to work in our lives and again the lord says you are having an agreement with sheol because you have said we have made a covenant with death and with sheol we have an agreement an agreement with sheol what is that you are making an agreement with hell that is more serious i'll explain it to you in a in, in another way i remember about this particular young man i've never seen this young man but he phoned me once and he said father i have heard about your healing ministry one of my friends told me could you please pray i said what should i pray for then he told me his story he said father i have lots of money i'm a very rich person very young man he's telling i'm a very rich person and then i said what is it that i should pray for you but i'm not happy father i always go and have uh, this uh, drugs he take drugs and i am addicted to drug and sometimes i behave weirdly after taking drugs and then uh, while asking him again and again he told me every friday evening he goes to a particular place where there is satanic worship taking place so they are worshiping the satan and then do all the sins mortal sins possible in front of satan and he goes there participate in this worship satanic worship and then he comes by home and then he says i'm not happy at all this is what is called you are having an agreement with sheol that means jesus christ has clearly said what if you gain the whole world but if you lose your soul that means if you sell your soul you can become rich if you want to become rich you can definitely become rich because satan came to jesus and in the temptation where satan says if you bow down before me i'll give you everything i'll give you everything there are lots of people thousands of people going after freemasons group you know what are they their principle is this if you worship satan he will give you everything in other words if you are ready to sell your soul you will get everything you can become rich whatever dreams that you have in your mind for this world can be executed very easily in your life provided you sell your soul and this is called uh, making an agreement with hell i remember one day a person very angry with me and said you don't need to talk about god i am ready to go to hell i am ready to go to hell so what's the problem i don't need to listen to the word of god you don't you don't talk to me about god you don't preach about god to me i have already made an agreement with hell salvation is far away this is too far away 
that's why in our society in our community in our family sometimes we will find people who have already signed this agreement covenant with god and that's why we are struggling a lot the satanic world is ruling our lives sometimes it is because knowingly or unknowingly including our children they have made covenant with god and then what happens they have made covenant with uh, uh, with death as well as they have made uh, agreement with sheol and then next when the overwhelming scourge passes through it it will not come to us so there once you sell your soul nothing will affect you you will not have any financial crisis nothing the overwhelming scourges the afflictions the calamities it will not come through our way it is only jesus who said if you want to follow me you take up your cross and follow me your soul will be safe in heaven after this death you will be enjoying your beautiful life with the lord but if you are a person given your life and your hope only for this world first corinthians chapter 15 verse 19 the letter of saint paul to the corinthians chapter 15 verse 19 if for this life only we have hoped in christ if for this life only you have hoped in christ we are of all people most to be pitied you are the most pitiable people in the world praise the lord praise the lord say hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. so therefore the lord clearly says you when you sell your soul you can become rich when you sell your soul everything that you have planned here in this world that can be experienced but the way of the lord is entirely different if you want everlasting peace if you want eternal happiness if you want your soul to be saved there is yet another way but these are the ways the lord said there is one more way the next one for we have made lies our refuge and in falsehood we have taken shelter so now lies our refuge and our shelter is falsehood, falsehood. think about our own children sometimes i remember one day a mother came and told me father could you please pray for my daughter she was an angel she used to serve at the altar but now she is 19 she doesn't come home until late in the morning sometimes there are wounds on her body she is you know she is making wounds on her body she is gone completely what can i do father could you please pray you are creating a covenant with death and you are living on falsehood another mother one day came and said father could you please pray for my daughter nowadays she is telling that she wants to be a lesbian where did we go wrong could you please pray father we did our best we have given right education taken them to catholic schools where did we go wrong they have made a covenant with satan where they have created they are living on falsehood and falsehood become our shelter Lord clearly says through the Bible if we are going through these areas of life having a covenant and an agreement with satan with hell and also towards death what happens there is no more eternal peace and happiness that is when there is stress there is lots of fear ruling there is when the possession of the evil spirit taking upon a person and a family having gone through all these situations when the people of israel god the father analyzed the situation and said you are telling that these are the things you are going to do it's all in your heart it's all in your mind that you wanted to make a treaty with satan you wanted to enjoy the pleasures of this world you don't want to get out of the extra marital relationship in your life you don't want to get out of addictions from your life but still you want to love the lord you are happy to praise the lord you are happy to go go for sunday mass you are happy to do everything but still you are having an agreement with the, with satan 
that doesn't work and it is at that time the lord said the beautiful word of god see i am laying in sion a foundation stone a tested stone a precious cornerstone a sure foundation and one who trusts will not panic it's all about jesus christ heavenly father who is this foundation stone jesus jesus, jesus. christ the lord clearly says now i am going to place a foundation stone a cornerstone and that stone is a tested Christ. stone every temptation the so called temptation you and i we are going through is already gone through our lord jesus christ and he it was tested upon him and he had overcome all the temptation and therefore a tested stone a precious stone is going to be implanted in your midst in the old testament there is no cross when it comes to new testament we know that this cornerstone is the crucified lord in the midst of all the adversities and afflictions in the midst of all of us you and i when we make treaties with satan what is happening the lord is suffering so much on the cross but there is one one hope for you and for me if you and i we can take this cross and implant in the midst of all our adversities that is where salvation comes that's where the salvation comes in the old testament we have read joseph was rejected by his own brothers his own country people and his own masters but finally he became the cornerstone of jacob's family in the new testament jesus when he was born he was rejected when he became an adult and started the public ministry he was rejected by the scribes the elders and the chief priests and again he was rejected by his own people again he was rejected by the apostles and the disciples he was denied by peter three times he was betrayed by uh, judas and on the cross he was completely rejected by everyone the soldiers pontius pilate herod everyone rejected and jesus was the most uh, uh, most uh, challenging sign on the cross for rejection having tested every area of rejection our lord jesus is there on the cross and then he says i will never ever reject you i will never ever abandon you i will not leave you orphaned this is how our lord jesus christ a tested stone everything that you go through today is already gone through our lord jesus christ whether it is your family problem whether it is your sickness whether it is an addiction that you are going through now all these areas where he was tested but he was never fallen into he was tested but he had overcome all these temptations by the power of the holy spirit through fasting and prayer so that's very important if you want this cross to be planted in the midst of your family there's only one way through fasting and prayer if you want this cross to be implanted upon your children who are going astray who are going away who have made covenant with satan there's only one way plant this cross in the midst of your own child life in the midst of your own family and then you do some fasting and prayer this is a season of lent why the church always tells fasting and prayer it is not to not to reduce your weight <laughs> it is to bring lots of power from above to crush down the proud head of satan, satan. it happens you will get that power you will get that power provided you plant this cross no this is the cornerstone this is the stone rejected by everyone and even today this stone is rejected by you and by me when we make a covenant with satan we are rejecting this cornerstone when you say that i am happy to enjoy this pleasures of this world i am i am rejecting this cornerstone and the lord said all of you may reject me but this rejected stone will become the cornerstone of your life only then salvation become a reality in your life our lord jesus christ had gone through so much of rejection but today you and i when we reject him 
when we commit a sin when we make a pact with satan a treaty with satan our lord jesus is still suffering on the cross but through our fasting through our abstinence through our prayer when we plant this cross in our midst what does the church do why there is parishes everywhere you just look around within 3 kilometers there are parishes why the lord designed or the church designed parishes very close by no matter in the, in in any part of the world you travel there is a church what is that for that is to plant this cross when you come for holy mass this cross is planted here now all of you who are living in dandano when you come here at st mary's church now on a sunday mass now the cross is planted for you here in this church for all the people who are in dandano when you are living in narewaran there is a place chosen by the lord to plant this cross for you and no matter which suburb you are in each suburb there is a there is a church that was chosen by the lord and there is a priest assigned for you there when you go there on a sunday mass and when you go there and experience the planted cross there from there light will flush light will come to you and your family and then carry take that cross and plant it inside your house and plant it wherever you want in your job place in your children who are not coming to the church maybe your husband who is addicted to drinking maybe your wife not coming to the church or being faithful to you plant the cross in the midst of all those problems and then start prayer and fasting you will see salvation becomes a reality this is how we work out our salvation now you read the word of god john chapter 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that every one who believes in him may not perish but may have eternal life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God so loved you and me that this cross is given to you. Our Lord Jesus Christ the crucified Lord is given the beloved son of the heavenly father the crucified lord is given to you and to me you don't need to run here and there go to your own parish where the cross is planted there go there with fasting and prayer if you are a person knowingly or unknowingly you might have made a covenant with satan you may be addicted to a sin you may be addicted to a, a, a drinking habit or watching inappropriate materials no matter what it is you may be addicted doesn't matter you go to church and then you participate in the crucified lord that is planted there in your parish then take that cross internally in your heart then plant it in your own problems in your own addictions in your own 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 areas of sickness you plant it there and then do some fasting and prayer you will see the result in the gospel of saint john you will find a man a man is uh, there for 38 years at the side of the pool of silo when jesus came and asked him would you like to be healed what did he say there he is said, no one i have no one to put me in that was in the answer to the question what did jesus ask do you want to would you like to be healed he did not say yes i want to be healed because he had already made a covenant with sickness this is not going to be healed 38 years how is it going to be healed it can happen in our lives getting accustomed to the situations getting accustomed to the drinking getting accustomed to our sickness and say it's not going to work but jesus slowly entered into his life and Jesus has completely healed that person 38 years so when years go one by one we have a tendency to sign the contract with satan the more you don't do it 
the more you can experience the light that comes from the cross that brings healing and deliverance in our lives. Therefore today, during this Holy Mass and the adoration thereafter, we shall pray earnestly, Lord, I may participate in this sacrifice which you have done on the cross and I may take this cross and plant it in all those areas where I struggle. Therefore, through my fasting and prayer, Lord, deliver me. That could be your beautiful prayer that you can offer to the Lord.